Hello, in this section of the tutorial on the TI-84 calculator, we're going to go back into the math menu and we're going to continue working our way down through here, down around number six and number seven, uh, Fmin and Fmax. Now these are two things that are useful in some instances that you might need uh, to use, but in all honesty, once you know how to graph equations on this calculator, which I'm going to sort of introduce you to in this section as well, um, it isn't quite as important to use these functions, but occasionally they might prove useful. So let me just go ahead and, and show you how to use them. Fmin is a built-in function to this calculator that tries to calculate where the minimum value of a function is. So if you can look at my little mouse cursor here, let's pretend your function is a parabola like this. It's going, it's going down and then it's going back up. Well, way here in the middle, you know, at the middle down here, this would be called a minimum of this function. And so wherever this is on the graph, this function is going to tell you the x value of wherever your function is a minimum. And uh, it's, it's just telling you, it's not telling you what the minimum value is, it's just telling you where along the x-axis here is the minimum value of your function. And so the way you do that is, you go down to number six here, or you could press the number six button. Let's go ahead and do that since I passed it up. We'll just press number six and on the uh, calculator screen says fmin. So what you first need to do is type in the function that, you, uh, that you're trying to find a minimum of. So let's say we're going to type in x, and remember this is the button for x because the first variable here is x. So x, and we're going to make it x squared because I think everybody watching this probably knows that x squared goes down and then it goes right back up again. It's a parabola. It goes down and back up. So there should be a minimum value right here in the center of the screen. So you have to put your function in first and then you put a comma and then you have to put the variable that you're searching along which is x. So this is always basically going to match basically match the variable that you used here. So you're searching along x which is left and right and you need to tell it you need to tell the calculator what interval you want to search on for this. It can't search forever and ever. It would just take the calculator forever to do that. So you have to nail it down and tell it where you want to search from. So let's say we want to search from negative 2, comma, to positive 2. So you see what we've typed in here. We've said, okay, Mr. Calculator, 